I'm Nilsa Perno, and this is my presentation of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, character representation of Freud and Young's theories. For anyone not familiar with the story of Alice's Adventure in Wonderland, it takes a young girl, Alice, through adventures in Wonderland where she meets a menagerie of characters that will challenge her and help her grow through her journey home. Many of the characters are representatives of Freud and Young's psychoanalytic theories. Freud Ego, superego, and id development of Alice. The biggest theme in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is the theme of growing up and maturity. The developing ego, as described by Freud, like all children growing up, Alice learns self understanding in the world around her through becoming aware of herself, other people, and her emotions. She learns to identify with who she is in by encountering Wonderland's characters. Also represented in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland's Freud's theory of the superego. While she encounters the many characters, Alice must determine what advice she takes. Some of the things they do or say are irrational, and she must decide what to do as the superego's role is to act according to social norms. The id development occurs very early on when she indulges in drinking the potion and eating the cake. Freud's character analysis. Alice is the main character develops and grows through the adventures in Wonderland is the ego. The caterpillar helps Alice navigate through Wonderland and all its oddities as her super ego, as does the Cheshire cat. He also helps her navigate through Wonderland, teaching her the rules and helping her gain insight. The white rabbit is to be representative of an older Alice. His concern with time represents age and why she follows him down the rabbit hole as she is ready to become the mature version of herself, also her super ego. The queen I place under id as she takes pleasure in having people beheaded. Freud's Eros and Thanatos, interpreted in Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Eros motivates life. The king of hearts is the forgiving one who pardons those that have been sent to be beheaded by the queen. The caterpillar and the Cheshire cat assist Alice in making choices and decisions to help her grow along her journey and get back home. Thanatos directs towards death. In Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, there are several themes of death. In the Enchanted Garden, the Queen of Hearts orders subjects to be beheaded. The White Rabbit's fan, which would bring Alice to her demise by banishing her if she held it for too long. The loss of Alice, the child, is a necessity in her finding herself as the mature Alice develops in her adventures through Wonderland. Jung's character analysis archetypes. There is the self, persona, and shadow. Alice is the conscious representation of herself, what she knows and the social norms she should follow, but also realizing through her journey that she must, what she must do to change. Her fears are displayed by all the unfamiliar things she comes across and must deal with. Anima animus. Alice represents Carol's anima, but the Duchess represents Alice's animus as she is forceful and violent. The Queen of Hearts represents the Great Mother, as does the Duchess, as they both express rules and order. The Trickster is the Mad Hatter, as he is always looking to annoy the Rabbit, even though they are friends and Rabbit does the same to Alice. Another important character in this archetype is the Cheshire Cat, who plays the part of a helpful trickster by manipulating Alice and guiding her. The Queen of Hearts reflects the mandala as she is the one who displays order, but also the Cheshire Cat who provides Alice with a balance. The transformation achieved through the archetype is by Alice with the assistance from the Cheshire Cat who tells her it's okay to be inconsistent in Wonderland, and the Caterpillar and the White Rabbit also have a role in this development. Jung's Anima in Alice there are many ways in which Alice's Carol's anima, primarily in his desire to be more effeminate, as well as the admiration of younger girls. She represents not only his love object, but also his own unconscious desire to reject his adult masculinity and to become a little girl. Alice's adventures in Wonderland take place in Victorian times where a female was expected to follow social norms and conformities as Alice would be expected to in Wonderland. Instead, she chases something interesting, barges in where she was not invited, tries new things, observes strange phenomena, asks too many questions, and argues with authority figures. This was Carol's way of making a statement about himself and not wanting to conform, wishing he was as defiant as Alice.
In conclusion, Freud believed dreams hold the answers to personal subconscious desires, the ego representing the most conscious and the unconscious manifests itself in symbols and dreams. Jung believed the unconscious mind is more of a conscious mind than Freud, where it is a part of the personality. In this theory, the ego is more a part of the personality than the center, but like Freud, he did believe the unconscious manifests itself in symbols and dreams.